So do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? I think I remember hearing something back in Cislodan about how he fights using a rod. A rod? I don't know the details, but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? I forget. Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Finally made it. We can take this?
Can you see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Okay! Hmm? Hmm. I wonder if something happened. What's wrong? Yes! <sighs> ah! How? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hmm? <laughs> right. Nice work. <laughs> huh. Right. 
no way. I don't believe this! Great! Very nice! What? I guess... Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Is that...? Oh, this is bad. Real bad. Just great. Yes! <laughs> man, that was amazing! No wonder the old man was so gung-ho about it. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Shim? You've got sauce on your face. Finally made it. This might go well in that new recipe. Can't wait to see what you make. You're the one making it. Finally made it. I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. Hmm. Hey! What's wrong? Hmm? Why is this happening? Huh? Damn it! I guess... Got it. What the? Yeah. Do Zoogles just go after anything that looks remotely like farm equipment? It's me. Let's just focus on ensuring they don't make matters any worse. By the way, why do you keep looking over yourself? Huh? Oh, no reason. Don't worry about it.
Amazing Wyvern! You're on! Here I come! A flying freak! Why can't they just sit still? Sion, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! Amazing Wyvern! I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? An opponent like this should be Anything easy. Anything you don't feel. Rising Wyvern! Mirage! Rinwell, Here I go. Eat this! I'll run you through! Easy peasy, huh, Hoodle? An opponent like this should be easy. Azure Storm! Try harder! Run and turn it down! Azure Storm! Thunder Wyvern! Let me take the rest of Well, someone's feeling lively. Easy peasy, huh, Hoodle? Try harder! Run and turn it down! Azure Storm! Rising Wyvern! Mirage! Talon! Now I'm Barely a blip on our radar. No choice. Great Rising Wyvern! Here's the evil! First strike! I'll run you through! Take this! Lightning on! We did it! We did it! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Let's talk in more trouble. Couple of cards to your heart. I'm stopping! Let us mark astral energy! Full throttle! I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your everyday. Hi, Hoodle! Azure Storm! Rising Wyvern! Eat it! Rising Wyvern! Cannon! Fury! Burn it! Cover it! Here you go! Rising Wyvern! Leave the enemy hard! Back to your defenses! Looks like it could be worth something. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Go no further! Rising Wyvern! Rising Wyvern! Rising Wyvern! Now you see what I can do! We're in the home stretch, guys! What you say? Eyes on the prize! That focus goes double for you, Wyvern! Me? How do I get singled out? Do it! I've got this! Let a mark on the handle! Rising Wyvern! All yours! Come on, I'll now! That's the last of the Zoogles that were ruining the farm equipment. Yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, hey, I get the feeling. But were you really that worried about us winning? Oh, uh, no. Of course not. Huh? Well, looky here. out.
okay? Yeah. You did it! Yeah! All right! Well... I guess... Ugh. Really? Like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. So these are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different compared to the rest of this sentinel. 
It's just a nicer name for a place where people go to fight. So? It's still a good way for us to test our strength. Stop sweating the small stuff. Your friends, Hoodle? Always good to be back in familiar territory.
still can't believe I'm seeing Danans and Renans getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renans. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Let's... Check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. like Danans are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Everybody seems so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this? I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just... Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard... Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Law's right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. That Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Dohalim, didn't she? She still has a Renin for a boss. How is that any different from being a slave? Renin society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day. Just with a different coat of paint. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand... Calaglia had its fair share of Danons who just accepted Renan rule because it was all they'd ever known. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own, or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. Who knows? It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace.
I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. I just don't get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Hey, whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. Hmm. <laughs> I just don't get it. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? 
What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the lords. Remember? You could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danins are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danin coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. 
All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's got? Don't you think you're being a little too relaxed? They could strike at any moment. If they were going to attack us, they would have done it already. So you're the blazing sword of Calaglia now, huh? Come to think of it, I remember Ganabelt calling you that too. Yeah, you're getting to be pretty famous among the lords. Yeah, and that's not a good thing either. What do you mean? That's something you should be proud of, if anything, Alfin. They're scared of you, man. You're a real badass. It's not as simple as that, Law. The more well-known he is, the more people might come after him. No, that's not what I'm worried about. It isn't? When people call me that, it feels like there's something hanging over me that shouldn't be there. It's hard to put into words, but it's something that doesn't feel like a part of me. Something I can't let be a part of me. Or else. Hmm. Well, I still think it's pretty amazing. But that's just me.
I need something to eat. So what is Mahogsar, exactly? One of the five realms of Dana. From the sound of it, Kelzalik had some dealings with them. 